So good morning folks. I hope you're all doing well. For the last three, four days, uh, early mornings has been caked with mist. So I thought, come Saturday, I've got to go out and attempt to try and get something with some mist. So I've headed up to Pusey Vale. And as you can see, it's just absolutely shrouded in mist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little wander around and see if I can find something and then I'll talk you through it. Um, we have, I randomly, uh, this was bound to happen because he moved to uh, near near here, uh, up in the, where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he? Uh, he's up there somewhere. But uh, yeah, Photo Ninja has actually uh, come to, ooh, we're, uh, we're all wonky. Yeah, yeah, Photo Ninja's come and had the same idea. And yeah, just as I was about to uh, start wandering, he turns up in the car. So it's really cool, so I've been having a chat with him. So what I'll do is I will head up the hill because that's just too misty at the moment. So I'm gonna head up and probably walk towards the oaks in, in that direction. Behind me are the oaks that I mentioned about in my uh, in one of my previous videos. Uh, last time I was here, it was it was windy and it was cold uh, and it was raining as well. But this time, a lot less so than it was before. So, what I'm hoping is I'll have a look around here, and as you can see, this is this arch is just absolutely brilliant. But there are about five of these oaks all doing this a similar thing so so what I'm hoping is I can get these sort of all sort of intertwined with each other so you've got the first one at the front and then another one behind it and all going into a bit of a dot into the mist which yeah I think is gonna look really good So what I've done is I've set up this shot so that I've got the oaks uh, leading down this path and what I'm trying to do is get the, the way that the tree arches and then behind it the next one does the same sort of thing where the branch arches over as well and that sort of goes down in the further you go. Uh, what I'm having to be careful here is uh, I'm trying to make sure that the, the closest tree to me is in focus. So I'm focusing on that and then letting everything else fade into the background. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is that there's, you can see this branch here. What I might do is try and get that into this shot as well. Uh, but that's going to mean having to come back a little bit further. But these are absolutely brilliant oaks. It's just so many different places that you can actually get a shot from. So it's just going through working out which one which ones to take. Um, and with the mist at the moment it's, uh, it's not letting up so uh, I think I'm going to be here a little while. Okay, so what I've done is I've moved back about six feet, uh, basically to try and incorporate that branch that's coming off in the opposite direction. So what it's doing is it's, it's almost like it's a, I want to say like peacock feathers, where it's sort of, the branches all spray out from the center of the tree, um, but making this nice archway. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is try and take this shot chuck it up and then uh, what you can do is down in the comments is let me know which of the two you think is better 
Uh, I'm leaning towards this one because it's getting more of the tree. And it's just looking a little bit more dynamic. Um, I'm going to stick the stick the aperture to maybe f11. I don't want to get too much detail right at the very back of the, uh, at the back of the scene. I want that fall off with the mist. Otherwise, you might as well just come on a normal day. Um, but it's it's looking really nice. Uh, and what's happening, as you can see on the behind me, is that the sun is starting to penetrate through the mist. So it's just lighting up this tree in front of me just a little bit and it's looking really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and head to the other side without trying to disturb Mr Ninja. I think he's recording so I'm going to have to be careful what I'm doing. don't want to disturb his video. Right. But what I want to do is go to the other side because there's uh, there's definitely some more uh, more compositions that side, uh, and I want to see what it looks like with the uh, the sudden backlight and everything as well. So let's head on over that direction, but shh, don't make any noises. So that's bloody typical. I have <laughs> set up a shot and seen the mist come through and some nice rays, were, in fact they're, they're happening again. Uh, so yeah, the mist is causing loads and loads of light rays to come through and it looks absolutely brilliant. But the problem is, is the mist is coming in in stages so that you get some mist and then no mist. And what I'm having to do is try and manage, this, this is difficult. I'm, almost certainly going to have to bracket this because just the light coming through is just so bright and then everything else just falls into shadow. That's a mad five minutes. Uh, what I tried to do, which was incredibly difficult, was uh, there were some streams of light coming through the, mi uh, through the trees and I was trying to get all of these god rays but it, it was there one second, gone the next, and it was just incredibly difficult to get that. Uh, and the dynamic range is ridiculous. So, I've taken some shots. If I got them, I will put them up on screen for you, but I'm not sure I did. There was one in particular that was really cool. And there's lots of uh, little branches intertwining with each other, and just the light coming through there was like, like 10 shafts of light going through. It was brilliant but could I get it no of course not so um, what I'm gonna do is the mist is clearing across the um, across the valley so what I'm gonna do is head on f a bit further up and see if I can start getting some telephoto shots with the uh, the landscape hopefully I think there's a lone tree as well so I'm hoping I can get something half decent but uh, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, behind me, it's really bright, but what you can see is the hill sort of drops off and what I'm hopefully going to try and do is find, pick out some some tree lines and see if I can get something over there. Um, the mist is still pretty thick down there and the sun is extremely bright. So I think the, the mist up here is clearing out but down there is yeah, still fairly thick. So I'm going to try and you can't see it but there's some tree there's a tree line down over there what I'm going to try and do is pick that out with a long lens uh, there is a, a lone tree so up there is a, a lone tree but it's it's not great uh, and people have put tassels all over it so uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing that and it's, it's just where the Sun's lighting it up it's not great so 
I will see what I can do with the long lens. Right, so I've got the 70 to 200. So what I'm going to try to do, I've come down the hill a little bit and I'm going to try and pick out a few of these, these tree lines. Uh, what's cool from uh, is from up here, where you've got the fields as well, you've got some of the, uh, like the, the lines for where all the tractors sort of move around. So something like that would be quite cool. Uh, it's still pretty thick down there, so... Uh, or, or the sun is making it look thicker than it is. Uh, but what I'll try and do is I'll pick some stuff out. Hopefully, hopefully this will all come out all right. Um, it's not stabilised. So I'm going to have to make sure that I've, um, I've got the settings right, otherwise... Uh, I'm in for a lot of blurry shots. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's not great. It's a lot thicker than I was hoping, and I'm struggling to get anything that resembles a tree line. Uh, I don't know. I'm, what you want ideally is a low sun to cast those nice shadows across the across the landscape, and it's now getting to the stage where it's. It's just a tad too high in the sky, so uh, turn it a little bit. So I don't know that I'm going to get anything worthwhile here. Um, I'll keep trying. If I get anything, I will chuck it up on the screen for you. But uh, you won't be able to see it. But it's just pea soup down there. It's really difficult. I've had a go with the telephoto lens and as as fun as it has been it's really difficult to try and get something it's the, the mist is rolling in and there are times when there's no mist and there's times when there's loads of mist so it's trying to get that balance uh, the shot that I was trying to get uh, I don't think it's gonna happen I'm probably gonna be here for a lot longer uh, to try and get it but the sun's getting too high now so I think it's probably past the point that's going to be the best images uh, what I'll do is I will call it a video give it a thumbs up if you liked it hit that subscribe if you uh, if you were so inclined and uh, I will catch you on the next one and uh, check out photo ninjas video uh, I expect he's probably gonna have that up in the next day or two and yeah I expect it's it's gonna be a good one hopefully yeah you, you might see me in the background that'd be cool Right, I will catch you all later. Take care, keep safe.